Hello, this is Ham Donishman, and thank you for joining for another session of VAERS' uh, series of uh, training videos. Today is going to be a little bit different. Um, we're going to be talking about Google Maps and how to take advantage of Google Maps and to be able to help us uh, with VAERS' and when you are connected uh, through the internet and how to use Google Maps to gather information and be able to utilize it as a free uh, software that's out there and to be able to really take advantage of it and how to make it easier for for yourself when you have uh, multiple different versus sites connected in your connected in your region or in your city so what I like to do is really just do the best I can and, and go through this uh, with you. And there may be some areas that could be a little bit unclear, uh, but uh, if there's feedback on the videos or versuscontrols.com, then we can uh, maybe make this a little bit more clear later on down the road. But I think uh, after you go through this video, you will get a better understanding and feel of what, uh, what we're trying to do here and what, why this is good. Uh, one thing about the Google Map is uh, it's obviously I'm using this on a PC platform right now and I'm, I'm showing this video through the PC platform. Uh, but this is uh, basically a, a, a Google Map is can be done on a mobile device and and so you can uh, bring it up uh, after you go through and make all the settings that you need. So one of the first thing you have to have is a Google account. So you have to go through Google, set up a, a Google account, which uh, gives you a Gmail uh, email address, and then you get a password, and you have to log in as, uh, as a Google account. So I have done that. I'm not using my own personal one right now. I have a generic one that I've, that I've created. And uh, so I'm going to kind of just basically show you how to do that. So after you create your account, you log in, basically go into maps you know you could pull up google and then type in maps and this is the screen you'll get now with this screen you have uh this little um what i call a hamburger bar but basically your bars here which is your configuration and you want to pull up this menu here lots of different choices here but what you want to go into what's called your places in this places you have multiple things here but you have what's called maps you want to go into your maps and what we want to do here now is uh, basically pull up uh, your all your maps and then what we want to do here we want to create a new map and let's basically show this as uh, when I create a new map I want to kind of label it uh, and call it uh, let's say uh, we'll, we'll, we'll label it as uh, Let's see, uh, we don't need to import anything at this point, but I could label it as, uh, and we'll just call it uh, Louisville, Kentucky, Versus Sites. Yeah, just giving it a name. So there is a feature called import. I'm not going to go through that right now. I'm just going to manually uh, enter some of these uh, areas here. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and pull up an address. And in the case of uh, what I'm trying to do here, I'm, I have an address in mind. It's called Masterson's Catering. I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to go ahead and hit search. Now what it's going to do here is going to obviously figure out, okay, hey, here's what you're looking for. Do I want to add this to the map? I want to say yes. Go ahead and add it to the map. So it automatically created a, a little icon blue. It added to the map. I could change the color here if I want, the style of it. I could edit it. I could add an image to it if I want. Uh, I could put directions or I could delete it if I want. So let's say I want to keep it. Now one of the things I want to do here now I could do, let's, let's add one more so we have multiple of these going. The other one I want to add is called Olmstead, Kentucky. And this is also in Louisville, Kentucky. And it's a different there's a site we have. And I believe that was the right one. Let me, let me type in another. 
the one here. I'm gonna go Homestead. That's correct now. So now I want to add uh, this one into the. Uh, that in. There we go. Add to the map, and that also gets added as well. So I have two sites that I've created on the map right now, and uh, if I zoom out uh, of the map, those bubbles will be there right next to each other. Here, and one here. So the next thing I want to do. I want to hit this uh, layer option and I'm going to open the data table. So now you get this table here and uh, you have uh, two names, Masterson's group, and uh, you have two fields here. Now I could go in and add, uh, insert a column, um, let's say before, and I'm going to call it. Uh, uh, Call it versus uh, link, and it's a text. I'm gonna go ahead and add that, and as you can see, you added the label there. I'll leave the description there because I think it'd be a good field to say what is it, what is what is that particular link, or what is the job site. I'm gonna go ahead and add another link, and you could add as many table within this table you could add as many columns you want so I'm going to add another uh, column and I'm going to do an after and I'm going to call this one um, let's say uh, I'll call this one I think would be important uh, for the particular job maybe a contact information put that in there and I'm going to hit add and then I'm going to go ahead and add one more and I think you see the point here is what you need to do. You could basically customize this to anything you want. So the other thing I'm going to put in here, I'm going to say technical documentation, which I think it would be pretty useful to have, especially if you're out on the job site, you want to pull it up on your phone and you need to look something up pretty quickly. This could be wiring diagrams, this could be anything. So now, in this case here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the, the link. Now, obviously, you got to know some information. You know, you've probably already had a link uh, that you already set up with Verisys, and you know the IP address. It's already working. So that's, those are the things you got to know how to set this up. So I already have this. I, the link is here itself. I am going to copy that link, and then I am going to paste it here. So I have a link, an address that's already defined. I'm going to do the same thing with uh, Olmstead. Copy that, and I'm going to put it right here. And in the description, um, what I can do here, this is uh, basically a, uh, a catering business uh, with uh, uh, one train change of iPad system and four train uh, it's misspelled train name train. hopefully there's no train people watching this because I misspelled their company's name that's not good train and then uh, train uh, single zone rooftops and we uh, also have uh, two walking coolers, two walking freezers, I guess, that we're monitoring as well. As well. So that's just the information you want to put in there. Contact information, I mean, for right now, I'll just put my own name in here. And then technical information, this is where you want to really say, okay, what do I want to put in here? Do I put a link? Do I put uh, some sort of a... And then there's links you could put in here, and I'm, for right now, I'm just going to take our uh, quick link that we have. I want to insert it into that space here, and I'll show you why I did that. I'm going to go ahead and put that there, and copy it again. I'll put it right here, and I'll say am again. And I guess you get the point here. This one, the homestead itself, I think it's total of seven train single zone 
Good Tops, and two, three York single zone RTs. All right, so every time you punch something in this table, it's automatically saved. So I, when I close it now, this is saved inside this. It's ready to go. If um, uh, hit preview, and this is important as well, because if you hit preview now, this brings you the preview view of the map, and this is the link that you really want to have on your on your phone. So right now I have uh, two bubbles. I could either click here or here. When I click here, it should automatically open up my link. And if I told it to put in a picture up here, it will do that. And right now I made it very simple. I have my link, my IP address. Here's my description of the job. Here's my contact information. Now I see you can put phone number and everything. Here's my link to the information of where it is. Here's the address of the job site. So here's what I was talking about the other link. So if I click on my technical information, what it should do, it'll open up another page. And you could put direct link to uh, the actual uh, uh, document itself. And I have done that on my own website, and I'll show you in a second. I've, for this case, I just directly went to the Quicklet. And if I just, uh, within this search, I type in Verisys. And that will, and this is uh, out on the internet, it's open link to everybody. And uh, so if I now, if I want to get the information catalog page, or I could, if I want to see a start guide of the zone coordinator, I could click on that and that will pull up and you could do this again on your mobile device and that will pull up the information on the zone coordinator itself. So if I go back to my preview page, if I click on the link now, now that's going to open up a new page and it will do that on your phone or your mobile device and it's directing me to the site and this is a first time page and it's going to go through some security changes and there's my Verisys login. Now I'll log in to the system and then you can do this again on your phone and that will pull up my Verisys site. So the Google map itself it's helping me to gather all my information and as you can see now I'm on directly on on the site itself and then I could go through the settings and everything I need to do to monitor the system. And that's all being gathered within the preview page that we set up here. So if I had a bunch of bubbles all around the city, everything could be associated right here. And, and it could be maneuvered through the Google map. So quickly, I was going to show you uh, the pages that I have. This is I'm logged into my screen here now. And there's all my bubbles all over the uh, United States. And we have a few in Europe as well. And uh, in the case of uh, the documentation that I was talking about, going directly uh, to uh, the documentation itself. So in this case, if I want to pull up, uh, let's say, uh, documentation about the TC3000, which is our uh, documentation that has to do uh, with the, uh, uh, the terminal equipment controller for uh, third party rooftop and there's the information right there and there's multiple links within this that you could bring in installation diagrams and the different things about the backnet protocols and what it does and so all the information can be available to you in the palm of your hand when you set up the maps this is not a true dashboard by any means but it's a free piece of software out there that you can really take advantage of and then be able to gather all the information all within one location. I hope this helps and if we get more feedback on this video that we need to go into more detail, uh, there's a lot of resources out there that you can pull up on Google for how to do custom maps, uh, but it's pretty straightforward and hopefully this helps and, and if there's more feedback on our site that do additional videos on this particular subject, we can do that. This concludes my video for today and thank you for joining.